Hello guys and welcome to Call of Duty World at War. Today guys, we're playing competitive co-op campaign. Burn them out. We're gonna burn them up. <laughs> Alright, anyways guys, I felt like playing an original Call of Duty because uh, the new ones kind of suck. I mean, you know, considering that the trailer for Infinite Warfare Kind of, I believe, is the second most disliked video. I'm pretty confident that they don't like new ones. Anyways, guys, let's go. After he decides to ready up. Ready up, dude. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. <sighs> Really? All you had to do was write the app. But you didn't. Let's try campaign co op. Okay, I know. Wrong one. Alright, campaign co op regular. It says that there are three people. Nee, 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 nee. Yeah, you guys wondering, how are you the max prestige and max level? Well, at one point, I kinda had a friend who was a modder. And, uh, yeah. He gave, he made me be rack, max rank, so. A lot of people message me on World of War to say, are you a hacker? And I'm like, no, nah, dude. All right, well, I guess that won't work, so let's go with Nazi Zombies. Let's play the biggest map, well, the second most played map, the Reese, because, there, because nobody really plays the DLC anymore because of, uh, you know, reasons. Anyways, only a thousand, around only like 2,000 to 1,000 people normally play this game anymore, but even though this game has been out for so long, it still amazes me just how long the game has been out. And how many people are still playing it? And for good reason, too. So, you know. That's neat. Getting match quality. As you guys can tell, it does kind of suck. <laughs> there's this level 1 and there's just 3 level max prestige level 65s. Ooh. And you actually get an achievement for get prestige into the max and beco becoming the max level. The game mocks you. So it says, go outside and get some sunshine. Because that means you play multiplayer enough that you got max prestige and a max level. This is pretty much now the only way to do that because, you know. There's also the MP40s and everything else, but Nazi Zombies. If you didn't know, guys, this is actually the game that brought the Nazi Zombies series to life. And originally, it was just a mini game. Yep, I'm ripped off in this dude. I'm not sure. This dude's here. I don't think these guys are here. Okay, never mind. You're here. All right, good. Oh, nice. We're playing in a modded match, but this you guys can see his name. It's I M A. It's I capital M A capital S T cap space capital R. Space Z seven. So we're playing with a modder, guys. That's his gamer tag. So he's a modder of the game. So yay. So we have a modder. Yay. Uh, modders are always fun, especially ones who like are good modders. I hate it when a modder just does it and then just gives himself infinite ammo, infinite points, infinite everything. You know, like, I don't like it when a modder does some random crap like that. Wonder Wolf will be next. Data. Dude, come on. I don't have a gun. <laughs> Prick. Alright.
So if you don't know guys what a mod menu is, it's a modern menu. Pretty much guys, modders use it to mess with the game. Most of the time, modders, a lot of the time, modders only care about themselves and use it so they can pretty much just do anything they want in the game, but they're giant pricks and pretty much don't give anybody else the mods. But they're actually, though, sometimes modders can actually technically infect, I guess, the game. Infect, like, people's additions of the game. But I'll give you, like, an example. Let me think. So... My example of um, a modder like infecting it is that sometimes they can actually make it so you have a mod menu. When this happens, it's freaking awesome. But sometimes when they raise your rank to the max, everyone asks, like, are you a modder? Because why who wouldn't? Like, it only makes sense. Super tap. Super chug. This is infinite ammo. It pretty much is like a no reload cheat, so. It was a lie. Anyways, guys, this is pretty much just a modded lobby, and I'll be honest, guys, I had no idea I was going to get into a modded game. That's actually just convenience for you. As you guys can see, look, ma, no reloading. Uh, blah blah blah. Alright guys, anyways. I I actually did have a friend, but I'm not sure what he's doing now. I don't know, but modding technically people don't allow, so but you know, I do it anyways. Well I I don't do it, but you know what I mean. Dang it. You dang know what I mean. Get masked. He's our modder, dude. He's your matter, bro. Might as well get speed cola. That looks cool. Does it actually go to the moon? So, you know, right now I'm just going around, super tap. Run around, run around. DLC 3, zombie, all doors unlocked, all right. That pretty much just means for the third DLC map for zombies, it will, uh, you know, open all doors. That's exactly what that means. So. Where everything is. Okay, yeah, I, I suck at finding out where the teleporters are. Wait, oh wait, uh, I'm gonna do it again.
Alonso. Uh, just a bunch of random crap to be honest, but, uh, man. But guys, as you can tell, this is a bit boring. I mean, we aren't doing much, so. So guys, I think that'll be, uh, <laughs> So that's pretty much what World War mainly has turned into, a bunch of, uh, it's a modders playground. It's pretty much, by modders playground, I mean just modders go on it constantly and do that, so. Anyways guys, I know, it wasn't that great of a video, but it works, so I'll see you guys in the next video.